I am Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, chatting about a lot of different stuff actually. Um, this one is something I've noticed, it's not something that somebody's asked me to talk about, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, I don't think it's going to apply to a lot of you, but it's going to apply to some. Now this is about the DWP um, mistake that they've made with the pension forecast. Now for those who, of you who are old enough, what will happen is when you want to know how much you're going to get a week or a month from your pension, you'll put in some figures into the into this, this little link that they send you and it will tell you how much you're going to get. Now a lot of people plan on that. They plan whether or not they want to retire, whether or not um, they want to stay on a few more years. And yes, yeah, so that's what they do. But what's happened now is that there's been a glitch in the system. And what the forecast has done, it's, it's, it's actually overestimated. So whereas people thought they might be getting an extra 150 quid, no, they're not. Apparently, it was showing them £35 more a week. That which translates into about 140 or something. 35 and 35, so yeah, 140. So, um, yeah, this was taken from iNews. This piece of news only came out today. And so Steve Webb's warning comes after the current pensions minister admitted in a letter there was a significant problem with forecast errors. The issue means that some people who are preparing for retirement and check their online statement might find that their state pension forecast does not correspond with the written statement they previously received. So in most cases, the online amount has been overestimated and is incorrect. One person's forecast was overestimated by £35 a week, said Sir Steve. So yeah, um, it is believed that 360,000 people with a complex work history may have been affected by the issue over the last three years. Hmm. Yeah, that can be a bit of a pain because, you know, it's so important to know how much you're getting and then just supposing you you're you, just supposing you need say a thousand pound a month to live to do your basic needs without no luxuries and you've kind of got you know your deep your, your state pension and a work pension and you think you're going to get 150 pound extra and you're not getting it that could really cause a problem and I'm sure they're not going to compensate for that error. But I thought I'd throw it out there. It might be useful for some of you, just in case you have had a pension forecast recently. You might have to have it redone again. And so you know exactly how much you're getting. So I told you this is going to be short and sweet. My word is my bond. Bye-bye.